Welcome to our tutorial on the 8085 16-bit data transfer and copy operations. Okay, I mean instructions. <laughs> All right. So in this uh, tutorial, we're going to discuss about the various types of 16-bit data transfer and copy instructions. Okay. So first of all, we are going to start with the 16-bit instructions, the 16-bit data loading instructions. Okay. So all right. So now it's okay. Now. Uh, the instruction that falls under this category is the LXI, okay, or this means that load the register pair immediately, okay, so that's what this instruction means, okay, and uh, the operands of this particular instruction is a specified register pair and a corresponding 16-bit data which we're supposed to load into the specified register pair. Okay, and now well, LXI, what it does is that it just loads the specified register pair with the 16-bit data, as I, you know, said just a little while ago. It's just written over here for your convenience. All right, so let's have an example. Okay, let's say uh, we want to load. Uh, first, you need to know that how many register pairs are there. So, for the general purpose registers, okay, we can treat the B and C registers together as a pair then D and E registers together as a pair and similarly we can treat HL registers as a pair okay so we need to select two of the eight bit registers that are there uh, in all the six general purpose registers over there in the A085 RAM structure so we can just uh, have well three register pairs in all okay so just depends upon which of the pairs we are selecting. So the syntax well, goes somewhat this way. Now if, if we want to load, uh, the, let's say, the 16-bit data of, uh, of uh, let's say, 20FFH into, let's say, the BC register pair. Let's say we want to load this 16-bit data into the BC register pair. So how does this work? Well, you'll see that whenever we would load a 16-bit data into a, a, a register pair, okay, the registers B and C, they are individually 8-bit registers only. And this is a 16-bit data. So the 16-bit data can be divided into two groups of 8-bit data. That's the lower uh, byte and the higher byte. Okay, So whenever we would execute the instruction LXI, now we give the name of the register pair BC, so we'll just write B. Now if we write B over here, then th the 8085, after reading this instruction, would understand that we're just talking about the BC register pair. Okay? So we are going to write over here that LXI B, comma, this particular 16-bit data, that is 20FFH. Okay? And this instruction would just load the BC register pair with the corresponding data in somewhat this way. Okay, and similarly, if we'd want to load the same data into the HL register pair, then we would write LXI, okay, H. Whenever we write H, then it, the 8085 would understand that we're talking about the HL register pair. Since this instruction is supposed to make the 8085 understand that we're working with register pairs, actually. Okay, so if we write 20 FFH, then the same data, this is 16 bit data, would get loaded onto the HL register pair as well. So, and that will happen in the very same way. So this is what we can achieve with this particular instruction. Okay. Now, while working with this instruction, you should always keep in mind that if you have a 16-bit number, I mean 16-bit, uh, you know, data like, for example, this 20 FFH, then the last, I mean, uh, starting from the right or let's say starting from the left, okay, the first two, uh, uh, you know, data, I mean, the first two, uh, uh, first two digits, they basically will make up the higher order or the higher byte okay so this is the higher byte of data and the last two over here they make up the lower data byte okay so you should always keep this in mind now uh, it's worthwhile mentioning that this particular instruction is basically a three byte instruction okay because of uh, the LXI in the specified register pair that's one byte and the 16-bit data consists of two bytes okay so total we have a three byte instruction of the LXI okay therefore the scope of this particular uh, LXI instruction will extends from the BC DE HL register pairs to the stack pointer register pair also so that is that is you know uh, especially useful whenever we're 
you know declaring stacks and all okay now apart from that it's also worthwhile to mention that the flag registers I mean the flag register bits are basically unaffected by this particular instruction okay next we come to the data transfer instructions okay now we can basically see that we have well, uh, two instructions uh, under that basically uh, copies or transfers the uh, data byte from the memory to the 8085 okay so you should keep this in mind this is what it uh, actually counts okay so the first instruction is LDA okay stand and it stands for well, load the register A or the accumulator directly and uh, its main operand is uh, the specified 16-bit memory address okay from which the uh, instruction actually instructs the 8085 to load uh, the data byte or rather copy the data byte into the accumulator so what it does is that it copies data byte from uh, the specified 16-bit memory location into the accumulator register so let's give an example over here let's say we have this corresponding memory location let's say 2050H and well this contains now this now since this 16-bit uh, memory address actually corresponds to an 8-bit register in the external RAM chip okay now let's say this contains a data byte of let's say 8FH now we want to load this data byte into the accumulator register using the LDA instruction so what do we do we just write here LDA 2050H and once this instruction gets executed then we find that the accumulator register has currently I mean it, it, it's just you know uh, seen to contain the data uh, 8FH now this data 8FH has been transferred from this memory location register into the accumulator due to the execution of this particular instruction okay and also you should keep in mind that the LDA instruction is basically a three byte instruction one byte for the uh, LDA instruction and two bytes for the specified 16-bit memory address okay alright so apart from that we have another uh, instruction over here in this category that's uh, the LDAX okay now this LDAX actually was stands for load accumulator or register A indirectly so what it does is that well you have a memory location like say for example like 2050H loaded into the BC or the DE register pairs and this instruction well directs the A085 to transfer or copy a data byte from the corresponding 16-bit memory address loaded in the base BC or DE register pairs okay and transfer that into the accumulator register okay a little bit confusing right so let's just try here with an example okay so let's say the BC register pair well, contains a data byte of uh, now if we just will uh, uh, you know um, exhibit or uh, show the similar example as above okay let's say in this case we wanted to load the data 8FH into the accumulator okay uh, from the memory location 2050H and we wanted to do that while using the LDAX instruction so let's say we would have to load the BC uh, register pair or the DE register pair with this particular uh, memory location okay and then we would need to write here well LDAX and then specify the register pair okay and we would write here B now whenever we're talking about the BC or referring to the BC register pair we would just write here B now if we just write here B then the 8085 would understand that we're referring to the BC register pair okay now this memory location is loaded into the BC register pair we write here LDAX B and then what happens is that we know that the 2050H this particular uh, memory location well, had this data 8FH okay it was containing this data 8FH now from this uh, memory location that is 2050H which contained the data byte 8FH okay this particular data byte present in the corresponding memory location that is loaded into the BC register pair is transferred into the accumulator register so we have 8FH in the register A similar would be would have been the case if uh, it was the DE register pair that would contain this uh, you know corresponding memory location let's just try that too let's say we have 
another memory location will load it into the DE register pair. Let's say this is 20, uh, what can we just call it? Okay, 2052H. Okay, and now this 2052H is containing the data byte of, uh, let's say, F2H. Okay, and we want to transfer this into the accumulator register. So whenever we would, uh, uh, you know, execute this instruction, LDAX D, then the 8085 would understand that we are referring to the DE, I mean, uh, the 16 bit memory address stored in the DE register pair. Okay, and then what will happen is that the corresponding data byte F2H from the memory location 2052H loaded in the DE register pair would now be transferred or copied into the accumulator register. So this is how the LDAX statement or instruction basically works. And also you should keep in mind that the LDAX instruction is basically a one byte or a single byte instruction. Okay? And even in this case, okay, for both these instructions, the flag register bits remain unaffected as well. Now we come across another uh, set of data transfer instruction. Now this set of data transfer instruction actually will transfer the data bytes from the 8085 to the memory locations. Okay, now this is what is very important and you should keep that in mind. Now under this category we have two instructions that is the STA and the STAX. Okay, now STL stands for store accumulator directly and this performs just the reverse of what the LDA performs. Okay, so you have a 16-bit uh, uh, memory address, okay, uh, over here that acts as the operand of the STA instruction. Okay, and, and now if you need to load a data byte present in the accumulator into the specified 16-bit memory address then you should use this particular instruction okay so let's say the accumulator contains a data byte of uh, well 2AH okay and we want to transfer it into the corresponding memory location 2055H um, okay so what do we do we just write the instruction this way we are gonna write STA okay 2055H and this instruction what it'll do is that it'll just transfer the accumulator data byte into the corresponding memory location that I've just declared over here. So the 2050, uh, I mean 2055H uh, memory location would just contain this particular data byte. Okay, upon execution of this particular instruction, STA. Now you should keep in mind that the 2055 16-bit uh, memory location uh, is basically an 8-bit register in the external RAM used along with the 8085. Okay, now you can perform the exact same instruction, I mean exact same operation using the STAX instruction also. And now the STAX stands for store the accumulator data indirectly and let me tell you the STAX instruction performs the opposite of what the LDAX instruction actually performs okay so you have a 16-bit data I mean memory location you know stored in either the BC or the DE register pairs okay and whenever you would write here STAX then the memory location that is stored in the BC or DE uh, register pairs, okay, to that memory location, the data byte present in the accumulator would be transferred, okay. So let's give an example. So let's say the BC register pair what contains this particular memory location 2055H, okay. And now we have in the accumulator the data byte of 2AH. Now we're, you know, uh, just repeating the same example with the STAX instruction. Okay, so now whenever we would need to use the STAX instruction to transfer this data byte into the memory location, 16-bit memory location contained in the BC register pair, we would need to write the code somewhat this way. We would write here STAX and B. Now whenever we write STAX B, the 8085, rep, you know, understand that we are just refers and that we're just trying to refer to, the program is trying to refer to the 16-bit the memory location that is contained in the BC register pair. So what happens is that the 2055 memory location gets loaded with the data from the accumulator as a result. 
Okay, so now you have the data by 2AH stored in the 2055H memory location concerned. Now, similar would have been the case if, uh, uh, well, a DE register pair would have just contained this uh, sort of memory location. So let's just try an example with that also. Now, if you have the DE register pair with a different address, let's say uh, 2056H, okay, and you want to load into this particular memory location a data byte of uh, let's say uh, 1BH that is present in the accumulator. So you write here STAXD. So the 8085s understand that we are referring to the 16 bit memory address in the DE register pair and it directs the operation the same way. So we have the data byte from the accumulator transferred into the 2056H memory location. So you can see this data byte getting stored over there. Okay, so that's how this instruction STAX works. All right, and also it's worthwhile to mention that the STAX instruction, like the LDAX instruction, has a one byte of uh, memory space. I mean, I mean, basically occupies a one byte of memory space whenever this is, this instruction is stored into a memory chip okay while the STA instruction like the LDA well it occupies three bytes of memory space okay and well for both the STA and the STAX instructions the flag bits remain unaffected as well alright now that said we finally arrive at the conclusion or the end of course of our tutorial uh, video on uh, the 8085 16-bit data transfer instructions. Okay, so we're going to meet you next in the forthcoming tutorials. Until then, it's going to be a short goodbye for now, and thanks for watching.